Why, hello there. So, oh my goodness, it's here. It's finally here. I'm getting a Nestle Toll House in my town. And I'm going today between 12 and 5. They have $5 dozen cookies, and I'm so excited. I'm also really glad that this is during a weekday because for people like me that have flexible schedules, this is great because everybody else is in school and work and I am not, oop, as I hit the camera. And it is also starting to flurry. Okay, March. I see you, you giving us, we've had the weirdest weather. It was, I mean, global warming, but <laughs> it went from really, really warm to windy AF and part of my fence has been destroyed. So that's fun, yay. Woo. So I'm going to go to Starbucks first. I've been going to Starbucks a lot to get my homework done. I am in online classes officially. I am restarting for like the thousandth time my college career. I'm finally in my final year. I should be in my final year anyways, but I finally have made it. So I have been going there, getting a lot done, and just the glare from the windows like right on my glasses it's like you can't see my eyeballs anyways um so yeah I'm just so excited I okay yep I go to Starbucks a lot now kind of and I have a gold card with my name on it because I am so basic and I have to be honest with them now about my name because I go th to this particular one a lot usually when I go get pizza or whatever, Starbucks, and they need my name, I always tell them that my name is Jen because I'm so sick of seeing it misspelled. So I said to the guy that my name is Janelle because it also says it on my card. So it's like, that'd be weird if they were like, whoa. He spelled it C-H-A-N-E-L. That's Chanel. I said Janelle. Okay. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Obviously, I must be more fancy than I think. But yeah. All right, gonna go get that. Getting it warm, cause I don't even know what the temperature is, but it's cold enough for it to be flurrying. So I'm gonna layer and get in line and cause I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of people there. This has been long anticipation. I don't live in a city, but I live in a town big enough to be a city. I'm also casually holding a makeup brush. We just don't want a mare, apparently. That's like the only thing holding us back. So whatever. I guess less town drama, but then again, our, our council has fucked up, so we have... Uh, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> go get some cookies. See you later, bye. <sighs> I made it. I got some gas. I got for my car. Um, I got a green tea latte. Delicious. Waiting for my friend. I was really worried about a lot of people getting here. I don't know. That's just something like anytime my mom and I have ever gone someplace, especially like in Boston, we're always like, we got to get there early because people are crazy. But it's like snowing. It's during a weekday. It's during work hours, so luckily there ain't really people here. I'm pretty sure I could just go in there now, but it said on their website that they're not doing the deal until 5. I mean, until 12, which it's like almost 12 now. So I'm just going to wait for my friend, and hopefully I can get, because I think I need, I need to get something for myself, something for my sister and the fam, um, something for my friend who works night shift, bless her. I'm gonna get you some cookies and I'm awkwardly filming like this with my steering wheel in the way because I don't want to hold it up and I'm like if somebody walks by at least I can look like that I'm just like maybe talking on the phone I don't know I just feel weird and I'm just so excited I don't know what cookies I'm gonna get hopefully they're not like you can only get like two dozen I'd be like no I have people to shop for this is important <laughs> Um, I'm so glad this is happening. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, to touch on that, I have been, like, there's been, like, a few videos that I have filmed and just have deleted because I'm, like, they're not, either I just wasn't funny 
or I just wasn't really in a good mood and you know I want to be just myself but sometimes you just sometimes you just don't want to always showcase when you're not in a good mood I'm not unfortunately going to be like good old Trisha Paytas on top of on top of on my kitchen floor but you know, I'm going to be a little real, and uh, but I'm feeling better now. I've been just going through a lot. I just, you know, it's nice to be doing better. I like to be doing better. I think what's definitely has helped is, like, doing schoolwork, and I started a bullet journal and trying to keep track of things and life and having a blast trying at least faking it definitely if you are in a bad mood just put on a smile even if it's a scary ridiculous smile that is so fake you will start to smile like for real and the more I look at my hair the more I can't wait to get it done I'm getting it done the 20th of March and I can't wait all this grown out blonde will not look grown out anymore. It'll just be blonde from pretty much my roots and I am just shedding. <gasps> I just took a shower and everything too so my hair is just like ridiculously shedding. I'm just gonna put that on the bottom of my car because I don't want to open up my door right now. Cute. So yeah, I'm excited and also too, they have a drive through I'm thinking like awkwardly. Woo! drive through Yay! There it is. I'll find out later if I actually got that. Hey. So, I'm gonna have to do a complete whole separate video on my first experience at the Nestle Cafe. Um, it was quite the experience. I saw people get upset and angry and a man get quite sassy over cookies. And I'm like, ugh. They got screwed over. I felt so bad for the people working there. They were so nice. They were trying to keep it all together. And they did the best they could. And I got cookies and they were delicious and I enjoyed them. And I left them a long but nice review, and I got a round of applause. So if you want to hear more about that, I'm going to try to film that tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I was going to probably fil film it today, but then all of a sudden I took a nap, and then I woke up and it was dark. I was like, oh. Okay. And then I decided that I really wanted some ramen. Which I had to go to the store. I did not have any. And I haven't had ramen in a while. So, oh my god, I got some. This is like... Look, I'm... Do you see it? Look at it. Look at it. I put some parsley in there and some crushed red pepper. And while I was shopping, I was like, there is no one here. It is almost 10 at, like... It is, it's, it was like 9.15. I was like, there was nobody here. I'm sure I can do a quick little follow me around Hannaford's and, or the, the supermarket that I went to. And as soon as I took my camera out, like I took a really quick picture of me holding all the ramen. Because what I was going to do, I was going to take a video of being like, got so much ramen and just throw it into the, into the basket. And that was going to be kind of the end of it. And as soon as I hit record... This guy, I hear him coming around the corner, and I'm like, oh, and I just, like, put the camera down, and he just, like, looks at me, and he's like, oh, sorry, and I'm like, oh, God, he totally knows, and I was, like, trying to take a picture, and I'm, like, embarrassed, and I was like, it's okay, and I, like, caught it on video, um, like, mostly it's the audio, so, uh, here's my first time getting caught, roll the clip. Sorry about that. <laughs>
here and I got caught. And we're back. And I also do not remember how I had the camera before because while you were watching that clip, I was deleting some old videos to make more room and I just spent the past like five minutes fiddling around <sighs> with the angle and I have about five pictures of me going. So it's great. My camera apparently has a setting that will, if it thinks that you're taking a picture, it will just take it for you. Which I don't know. And is this getting cold? I hope not. Alright. I watched some like mukbang videos today and I was like, oh. So. If you haven't already, get something to eat. We're gonna chat. So, I wrote some things down on my thing on my desk to just chat about with you. Because I didn't want to put like vlog stuff with a full review of what the hell happened today at Nestle. I want that to be a separate video on its own. So, the first thing is cut off at Starbucks. So, I went back to Starbucks today because I've been going there to do my homework. I don't remember if I talked about that in my vlog or not or whatever from earlier. Mm-hmm. So, I go to the drive through I have napkins like an adult. This time they're not even napkins, they're Dollar Tree um, paper towels. Uh, living. And so, the guy is like, hi. Welcome to Starbucks or whatever. What can I get for you? And I'm like, hi. I have a hot venti. Okay, thank you. And I was like, what? And then he was like, I don't, I don't know what happened, but everything worked out and it was great. I thought it was really kind of funny. The guy that was doing the window, um is adorable and he has a little ponytail and everything was okay because he was just like you could just tell that he was just like sorry <laughs> don't comment on that please I don't know what happened and I'm just like as long as I get my green tea latte we're all okay and um so we were and then I waited forever um I should have went in line earlier for the Nestle thing so that took forever, which I will talk about. And so, soon I'm going to be actually doing a real, like, kind of mukbang thing. Follow me around and maybe a would you rather with one of my friends. I'm super excited to have her join me. And, um... We're going to do different types of ramen and different types of Arizona tea, try the new flavors of Ben & Jerry's, and I can't wait for what I'm drinking right now is actually my favorite, um, like, store <laughs> tea that you can just get in a bottle. Um, it's called Sweet Leaf, and it's actually less expensive than Pure Leaf, which is, like, part of Coca-Cola, whatever. But Sweet Leaf is organic, and it was $1.99, and then I got a 75% off coupon, I mean, sorry, 75 cent coupon, um, at the register, so that was pretty rad. So I got the green tea, which is my favorite, and then I also got peach tea, which is another favorite. I mean, who... Who doesn't love that? Also, if you're not familiar... And a proper mukbang, there's a lot of slurping and stuff that happens, and so, you know, incorporating that in. I also just kind of don't really care right now. Um, <laughs> um, so tea, oh, when I was leaving Hannaford's, I don't, I don't know what has been happening with the weather, but it is now, it went from no snow, probably never going to snow again, until win next winter, to now we got like four inches or something, probably less than that, but still, we caught like quite a bit of snow, and so it's kind of windy leaving, it's cold, and some uh, person is walking 
in their outside. They haven't even made it to like cross where it was like the parking lot, then like that little piece of road, and then you're at the store. They haven't even made that pass yet. And all of a sudden I hear, tell me the wind sweep you off your feet. <laughs> Like, is this my life now? I feel like ever since I started doing YouTube, like, weird stuff has been happening. So, that person, and they were singing Drops of Jupiter. This is probably really awkward if you're not also eating. Um. Or maybe you like it. I don't know you. Or maybe I do. I did post on my Instagram that I am doing YouTube videos. Um. Hey, Katie. Bay, who left some comments. Thank you. I love you. And, um, I'll have to do a video soon. And also, too, while I was, while I was in the car, the song No Diggity came on, and I was just kind of wondering, are there any baggers out there that sing No Diggity while they're bagging? Because I feel like they, like, can, like, take some eggs and be like, I'm about to bag it, bag it up, and put it in. Because when I and being a fabulous waitress. Sometimes when I take food out and I go, here we go folks, hot and fresh out the kitchen. And people have laughed, but nobody has followed up with, mama rolling that body. And I'm like, someone, anybody, <laughs> please. I love making jokes while I waitress. If somebody wants some wine, I'm like, yeah, why not? And sometimes it goes over their head, sometimes they laugh. And what else do I do? Oh god. Sometimes I bring the food over with a lot of excitement and I'm like, folks, are you ready to eat today? And especially if there's a little kid at the table, they're like, yes, I am ready to eat today. How did you know? Thank you for bringing me my macaroni and cheese that used to be made really well and now it's not. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Also, too, last night I went to a local bar that I haven't been to, and my sister told me, don't go there without me. I went there without you. <laughs> and I went with, like, an older, um, not, like, old. She's only, like, 32. Um, older coworker that has been there plenty of times before, so I was like, whatever, I'll go. And... So I see this guy across from us that looks just like the guy who like does like contracting for us and like helped me plug up some hole in my roof so a squirrel doesn't get in. Love him. And I totally thought I saw him and I was like, um, why is he here? And I had to like keep looking to make sure that wasn't him because he is married and his wife is beautiful. He has a beautiful family, nice life. Like, why are you messing this up? Especially, like, if you're gonna do something shady, go to another town. <laughs> not the town you, like, live in. Luckily, it was not him. But unfortunately, because I was staring too long, um, later on, before we left, um, that guy came over. And I was still in my work uniform, which is, like, all black. And... I had just taken my hair out of my braid, so I had I had nice wavy hair. I looked kind of cute from, like, the neck up. And, <laughs> and so he comes over, and he's like, hey. Oh, what did he start off with? Oh, Jess probably remembers. But he just kind of came over and started complimenting me on my smile and then my teeth. And then I was just like, yeah, I use whitening stuff from the Dollar Tree. And he was like, oh, ha. And then he was like, oh, don't take this the wrong way. Like, you know, just like, don't take this the wrong way. Really building it up. And my friend is like, oh, now I got it here. Because now this is just such a such a buildup that we're having. And he's just like, I, well, you know, yeah, I just don't want you to take this the wrong way. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and he just says, you have that kind of, like, you know, sophisticated, nerdy type of look to you. And I'm like, thanks! He was like, you know, with, like, the glasses, and I don't know. I just kind of stopped listening. 
And then one of his like friends came over who was like an electrician, started, he started talking and so we kind of migrated to talking to him more than the other guy who was just kind of there at this point. And then, so my friend is like something about like her husband and so then the guy was like, oh, so what does your husband do? And I did have a ring on, but it was on this finger because my mom got it for me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, we're not married, but we're in, we're like, you know, pretty serious, which is a lie. I am not in a relationship. Are you surprised? I mean, oh God. I am eating like this on the internet. Gotta get them them, them views though. That ad money. <laughs> I'm getting 11 cents so far. This is working out. Dad, I'm gonna take you to Italy. And not have ramen. Hmm. So, then my friend and I, we leave and we are sad because she posted on my Facebook wall the next morning and reminded me that we did not do our um, beverage thing, which beverage, if you don't know, is an app. If they want to sponsor me, that'd be cool. Um, but I will leave my code in the description bar below. I don't know if I, if, unless like I text it to somebody if it works, but I'll just leave it down below just in case if you can put like a, a referral code in, use that. Um, I highly recommend this app. No matter like where you are, you can get deals and cash back on alcohol and you can be in a restaurant, stores, whatever. And it's amazing. I think I have about $15 coming back to me. So yay. <laughs> and so we forgot to do that because we just kind of scoodoodled so fast out of there and we got out and we got by my car and we just started busting out laughing and she was just like, oh, you're so sophisticated and nerdy. Oh my God. I was like, oh, great. And to boot, I'm only 5'5 five five and that guy when he stood up, God bless him, but he was about my height. <sighs> Which is not my type. I mean, not also was he just in general probably, you know, not going to happen. But, I mean, he tried. He so tried. He came up with the most clever thing I've ever heard. A sophisticated, nerdy type. Don't be offended. Your teeth look amazing. Thank you. You know, maybe I'll go back. But I like tall men. I like men. You know? I just like men. It happens to us sometimes, you know? Sometimes we're not all fluid and shit. Sometimes we just like to stick to one thing, okay? Um, <laughs> but, hey, you do you. And I... I'm gonna... Uh, yep. <laughs> that was a total brain fart and rethought of all of my life. As I should have more 25 cent ramen. into my mouth. So, I don't know. What is going on with you? Comment below. I hope you ate something with me. That'd be great. I feel like this is like so good for my ADHD. I got to eat film, do laundry, all at the same time, multitasking goals, also, as you can see, mess, I was hung over, so that's why the Sprite is there, a study was done that Sprite is actually the best thing for hangovers, I had a big ass bottle of Sprite in my car, and I walked my hang hungover ass down there, I wasn't super hungover, and I just chugged some of it, I was like, this is life. Did I even finish that, that science? 
Report. Sprite is the best drink for a hangover. Did I even say that? Did I even complete that sentence? I don't remember. All I remember is eating and then saying to myself, did I complete anything? Mmm. You know what I didn't complete? My first week of discussion boards for my online classes. Hell yeah! Sunday night is when I'm actually going to do... I was going to do a face mask. Um... Which is right here. I got it for $1.37. Originally like $5.50. And it's a butterfly mask for your eyeballs. And I'm so excited to do this. And then also too, when I was at Ulta, I got Healthy Wear Physician's Formula and Natural to Tan SPF 50 Tinted Moisturizer on clearance. It was like three something. And I was like, hell yeah. Because I really liked last year L'Oreal's Tinted Moisturizer with a lot of SPF in it. Especially in the summer, I don't like to wear a lot of makeup. And so this just kind of, it's weird though. I really like this and I shake it up a lot before I put it on. But it is like liquid when it comes out. So I keep my face at an angle, drip that shit on there, and I rub it in and it is amazing. It is very weird at first. And then it just disappears into your skin and leaves you with a great, just blurred, fake human type of look. It's amazing. I hope my friends watch this and they're like, I can't believe she is so amazing. <laughs> I want to do so many videos with my friends. I want to do collabs. I was talking to one girl at work and I was like, maybe we'll do like a rice cooking show. I have a friend that raps. He has a brother that's a comedian. And he is fucking funny. You know who you are if you ever see this. And then I have another friend that used to have a gaming show. What's up? <laughs> and... I don't know. Maybe someday I'll get to meet all of my favorite YouTubers. Oh! Speaking of favorite YouTubers! How could I forget? So how to ADHD, which is like everything. I started making a bullet journal. I'm going to make a whole video on my bullet journal. I'm so excited about it. I have I have it nowhere near me. But I'm, I live for this for now, at least. Because, you know, I'll try to stick with it. Um, so how to ADHD, I left a comment on her, on her most recent video, which is talking about her being off of her medication um, for a little bit. I think, it's, I forget why she couldn't refill it or whatever. And, um, oh, she forgot to pay her insurance bill. That's right. And, uh, <laughs> and I was so moved by what she had to say. I almost started to cry. I'm a big baby anyways. But it was just, I could just feel her emotion and I could just feel for her. And so I left a comment basically being like, you know, it's been a kind of a struggle getting on my path of finding what medication works for me, but I'm like, I'm glad, and like, you know, I have, I wouldn't be able to do so many things without being on it, and I was like, thank you for being honest, and such a, like, an inspiration, and it's like, oh, and she loved it, and I was like, oh, she saw me, so if you ever see this, hi, <laughs> I hope I'm doing you proud. I wonder if my camera can pick up on the sound of me swallowing. I don't know why. I just swallow very loudly. <laughs> and I also, if a doctor ever watches this, because I've looked at many a diagrams of a throat, and I think it must be the cartilage that goes around my thyroid, pops in and out of place. And one time I was washing dishes, and my friend mentioned her mom's name, and I like was like, oh! and I went like that and it just popped out and it feels like it goes like that and I have to push it back into place because if I don't push it back into place I can't move my neck it, it's painful to like if I try to swallow like it's like crunching on it like not a crunch but I can feel the tension on it and then I have to go I have looked up so many times on the internet to try to find out what that is and there's nothing I can find so Maybe I can, like, 
So I think it, and I think it is the thyroid uh, cartilage. So maybe I can look up like thyroid cartilage popping up. I don't even know if there's anything I can do about that other than just keep popping it in, hoping for the best. I don't know. All I know that this is at 20 minutes now, and this is gonna take forever to upload. This is gonna be gonna be a long video and if you made it this far comment oh my god I made it this far leave me a like comment subscribe who knows what's gonna happen next but I am gonna do bullet journal my friend's gonna come on um I gotta talk about Nestle I gotta talk about um crazy stories I gotta talk about um, going to New York, going to Great Wolf Lodge, <laughs> I gotta talk about a lot of things, and I'm just yelling, I have gotten my second wind, it is like 10.30 now, and I am, I need to take some mel melatonin and go the fuck to sleep, just like that book, so, y'all have a great night, I'll see you soon, and bye!